This project is designed to evaluate the business value of investing in information technology. We use data published by the Veterans Health Administration in the budget summary for fiscal years 2006 through 2008. The Veterans Health Administration is a unique organization founded on the words of Abraham Lincoln. It is an organization, quote, to care for those who have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan. Since its inception, the VHA has served the needs of America's veterans by providing primary care, specialized care, and related medical and social support services. The VHA has become the largest single medical system in the United States, operating 163 hospitals, over 800 clinics, and 135 nursing homes. The VHA employs 1,880,000 medical personnel to provide care to a possible 61 million beneficiaries. The Veterans Health Administration operates using an electronic health record system called VISTA. VISTA operates in 157 medical centers with an expected 5.8 million unique patients by 2008. Including veterans and their families, there are potential 61 million users of the VISTA system. The VA began using information technology in daily operations in 1984. As a result, it is useful to use VA benchmarks and data to determine the business value of investing in information technology. VISTA is composed of Computerized Physician Order Entry, CPOE, Barcode Medication Administration, BCMA, Electronic Prescribing and Clinical Guidelines. As a result, the operation of VA medical centers is completely computerized and patients experience a higher quality of care with reduced medical errors. For example, pharmaceutical accuracy in the VA is 99.997%. VISTA is not limited to the VA. The VISTA Software Alliance is a nonprofit organization that makes the VISTA software available at no cost to all hospital organizations. Advocates hope use of VISTA will spread throughout the country in an effort to increase quality and diminish medical errors. Just over 85% of U.S. trained physicians have experience using VISTA, which will likely facilitate the future utilization of the It is essential to evaluate the return on investment for information technology because the results of invested dollars are not always clear and data is needed to accurately represent the possible outcomes of investment. The ROI analysis will help decision makers to look at the costs and the benefits of investment into information technology. This will help them to make better informed decisions. Analysis should determine whether outcomes are circular or actual. For example, is it necessary to determine if utilization increases as a result of investment or if investment is only increasing because utilization rates are rising? Finally. Investment in IT is often met with speculation, especially by clinicians who do not want to change their set methods. Useful data representation of the ROI and possible outcomes will help to garner support for investment in IT. To begin evaluating ROI, we must first choose variables to compare. We chose to examine if a relationship exists between cost of IT, use of IT, and revenue. Once the variables are chosen, we must choose which correlation we want to evaluate. We decided to look at two statements. Does greater IT investment increase IT usage, which leads to greater revenues? Or do higher revenues lead to greater investment in IT, leading to increased utilization? We begin first by collecting data. The data was collected from the Department of Veteran Affairs 2008 budget summary. The cost of IT was determined using the outlay figures because we know all of these dollars will be utilized. The use of IT is represented by how many unique patients are treated each year, representing how many electronic medical records are accessed. Finally, the revenues are displayed, also taken from the budget report. Now that we have our data, we can use Microsoft Excel to calculate correlations between the three variables. This is displayed in the table shown here. To calculate the overall value of each statement, we use the correlation equation. For example, examining whether IT cost leads to increased use of IT and thus increased revenues, we use the equation shown here. We begin by multiplying the IT cost over use of IT, the number shown to the left of the blue arrow, by use of IT over revenue, the number shown to the left of the red arrow. 
We then take the result and subtract the cost of IT over revenue, the number shown above the purple arrow. This results in a value of 0 0.06 for the first statement and a value of 0 0.106 for the second statement. The value of 0 0.06 shows a positive correlation for the first statement, but does not show a correlation for the second statement. The positive correlation of the first statement is also displayed here in chart form, showing that as investment dollars in IT increase, revenues increase as well. Because of the positive correlation, this means that the more dollars spent on IT will lead to greater utilization of IT and thus greater overall revenues, indicating that investment in IT is a good decision. This increase in revenue is likely due to increased efficiency and quality of care resulting from the use of information technology. As this project was completed, it is apparent that the VA data is reliable because the system has been utilizing information technology for over 20 years. Because it is well established, analysis of this data is much more accurate than using a hospital system who recently implemented an electronic health record. However, because there are so many variables, it is hard to choose the most truthful, effective data. In the future, it will be useful to use multiple data points and to calculate various correlations in order to truly determine if the return on investment or business value of IT is worth the budget dollars.